Okay, so part two of dividing rational expressions. We're going to start with dividing with remainders. Up until now, we've, we've had that long division problem I did. There was no remainder. So just like arithmetic, we do something with the remainder at the end. First step will always be standard form. Is this in stand, each polynomial in standard form? And so the answer to that is no. So we need to take that trinomial and we need to put this trinomial in standard form. I'm going to take that dividend and put it in standard form right inside my division house. So I'm going to start with my positive y squared minus 7y plus 2. My divisor is y minus 3. We're going to be focusing on that first term to divide. So what was our saying again? Does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers? So D, we're going to divide. We're going to ask ourselves what question? Y times what is y squared? Right, so y times what is y squared? I take away that. Uh... And the answer is y. Right, the answer is y. So I'm going to put a y in my divisor because this is a binomial. I'm going to move two places over. And I'm going to put the y over the 7y. Step Three, does McDonald's M for multiply? So we are going to multiply y times y minus 3. y times negative 3, negative 3y. y times y, y squared. Next step, we're going to subtract. Remember to distribute the negative sign. Okay, so I'm going to subtract, which means I have a negative y squared. A negative times a negative is a positive. All right, a negative 7y and a positive 3y is a negative 4y y squared minus y squared is zero. Our next step is to check. Do I have any squared? Nope. Took out as many as possible and bring down. So we're going to bring down that positive two and we're going to start all over again. So we're going to start with our division. What's our question going to be? y times what equals negative 4y? The answer to that is negative 4. So now we're going to multiply negative 4 times the quantity of y minus 3. Negative 4 times negative 3, positive 12. Negative 4 times positive y, negative 4y. Subtract. Remember to distribute the negative sign. So I'm going to subtract. Negative times a negative, positive. Negative times a positive is a negative. Negative 4y plus 4y is 0. Positive 12 and a negative 12 is negative 10. Notice I have a remainder. All right, so we're going to write the quotient with the remainder. My quotient is y minus 4 
then I am subtracting, I have a negative 10 over what is my divisor, y minus 3. I'm going to move that negative sign in the front of that rational expression. So my answer is y minus 4 minus 10 over the quantity of y minus 3. Three. That is the answer, and that is how we would show a remainder using long division. What happens in our numerical language when we have a missing place value? What number do we use in place of a blank? And the answer is we have zero, which is a man-made number, but it's a very, very important number. Well, same thing in algebra. I want to do this as a long division problem, but in order to subtract, I need to have all of my degrees taken care of. So when I put this in standard form, if you notice, we're missing a linear term. We're missing q to the first degree. So I'm going to insert zero Q because that would be Q to the first degree. So I'm going to rewrite this dividend as three Q squared plus zero Q because isn't that a true statement? I don't have any minus Eight. And I'm going to go ahead and divide by Q minus 2. Okay, again, we're looking at that Q to help us with our division. This is the really important part right there, is I have to be able to have each degree so I'm able to subtract when it comes time to do that part of long division. All right, so we start with our D, which is our division. What times Q equals 3Q squared? Okay, and the answer is 3Q. Two places. Now we're going to multiply. 3q times the quantity of q minus 2. 3q times negative 2 is negative 2. I'm sorry, negative 3. Let's start again. 3q times negative 2 is negative 6q. 3q times q is 3q squared. Okay, our next step is does McDonald's serve? So it's subtract. Remember to distribute the negative. So we're going to subtract positive 3q squared will be negative 3q squared and a negative times a negative this will be positive. So 0q plus 6q is 6q. Then 3q squared minus 3q squared is 0. Notice I don't have any more q squareds. So my check worked. And now I'm going to bring down my negative 8. So I'm going to bring that down. And we're going to start the process again. Divide. Six uh, Q times what is six Q? And the answer is positive six. So we're going to multiply, and the multiplication is going to be 6 
times the quantity of q minus 2. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. 6 times positive q is positive 6q. Go ahead and subtract. And again, distribute that negative sign. Negative times a negative is a positive. A negative 8 and a positive 12 is a positive 4. 6q minus 6q is 0. So we're going to go ahead and write our quotient. Our quotient is going to be 3q plus 6. How do we do our remainder? We have plus 4 over our divisor, which is q minus 2. And so the answer to example 4 is 3q plus 6 plus 4 over q minus 2. So when we have missing terms, we are just going to insert that variable with the right power and use 0 as its coefficient as a placeholder in our standard form. And that's how you use long division just like arithmetic long division in algebra.